Well, people at a seaside encampment now trying to figure out what they're going to be doing after being kicked out of their temporary location yesterday. We now go to KION's Max Charlton for today's Message Max. Residents say being relocated is a never ending cycle and with no place to go this time, it makes the move especially frustrating for them. The city is here to help remove this community <laughs> to relocate them to nowhere. Residents of this seaside encampment have been here on Colonel Durham Street since the city relocated them from Roberts Lake early on during the pandemic. But this week's deadline to vacate the area had been decided during a seaside city council meeting back in May. But this property has been sold and the city needs to repurpose this property. Seaside police say they and the city are helping how they can. We're even willing to put some folks up into a, a, a hotel temporarily. Um, and the city's even offered to pay for storage for a, a short period of time to help people at least get from this location on their feet. They're willing to pay $425 for either a RV spot or a motel. That money only goes so far, especially with an RV. I'm going to go to a motel and I'll be in there for four days. That's it. Residents are hopeful there's a place they'll be able to relocate their RVs. There are organizations that work here that are trying to come up with uh, solutions for them and, and provide services, but just time. Time is not on our side. You know, we need time. We're just now getting, trying to get our feet in the door of the proper channels to go to shelters and get in, but there's waiting lists for everything. Aside from more time, residents say they want the city manager and city council to have an emergency meeting on the issue. Well, we would to... like for Craig, the city manager, to keep his promise to relocate us. He said there's nowhere, all this land on Fort Ord, there's nowhere to put us. It's all sold. I find that kind of different. You know, Finney, something strange going on. There's so much land, so much land. I know there's somewhere they could put us. KION has reached out to the Seaside City Council and the mayor for comment and have yet to hear back. Residents say a property owner near their current location is allowing them to store their belongings there for free for 90 days. And we could store our property here, but we can't stay here. What is that saying? Now, residents say they're thankful for the local services that have been provided, but they're hoping in the future when readapting vulnerable communities, it's handled in a proper and effective way. Let me know if you have a question or a concern. Send me a message at KION546.com. In the Digital Operations Center, Max Tarleton, KION News Channel 546.